Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another evil sneaker review. And today we have something special. Uh, we have the Nike Terminator Georgetown or Hoyas. This is the 2022 release. Uh, not to be confused with what released back in 1985. As always, music is from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. So yeah, I know I promised last video that I, you wouldn't see me again until the Chicago J2, uh, but you know me. Heat on feet today are my lost and found ones. I love the sneaker. I, I've worn the sneaker for three days consecutively now. Very, very well worth the purchase. Um, and I hope you know much success to all those who out there who uh, wanted them as well. At EvilTshirtClub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t-shirts ever. So a bit of history before we hop into it. Uh, let me take you to 1982 when MJ hit the shot in the NCAA championship against Patrick Ewing. The tie, 18. Side note, in 1984, the Terminator released at theaters everywhere. Kyle Reese, father of John Connor, uh, boosted a pair of Nike vandals when he went back in time. Still in 1984, uh, Georgetown finally wins the NCAA championship. Uh, you know, Coach John Thompson uh, actually was a consultant for Nike. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan from the University of North Carolina. 1985. So in addition to the Jordan 1 being released in 1985, Nike also dropped the Be True to Your School pack uh, for the colleges. And as you can see, Georgetown didn't just get another colorways of the Dunk, which was released for the first time. They actually got their own sneaker and colorways. And theirs actually had Hoyas on the hill. Uh, so Nike pretty much banked on, you know, the Hoyas winning the NCAA championship, uh, starting a dynasty. To 50 in overtime and 57-50 when the rematch was staged in Landover. So yeah, unfortunately, Villanova upset the then champion Hoyas in the national championship. Super big upset there. Nike kind of banked on Patrick Ewing. Just five seconds left. There will be no dynasty. Villanova has done it. What happened? Georgetown. The New York Knicks. Here's David Stern with the announcement. Pick, select Patrick Ewing. Then Patrick Ewing goes number one overall in 1985 to New York. And we all know that him and MJ battled it out uh, over in the East for all of the 90s practically. Now you're caught up. Let's take a look at this sneaker. You know, I keep my receipts. Nothing special here about the packaging. Wow, this sneaker looks so old school, right? It looks like a, a high quality Converse All-Star. But yeah, I mean, you know, this Nostalgia pickup, so I had to grab it. You know, I, I I do vaguely remember this sneaker. Big into hip hop in Georgetown was the thing. Like everyone had their, you know, their Hoyas gear, the starter jacket, the starter hat, you know, uh, beanie, those types of things. So this was the sneakers that, you know, Cats was rocking. Then a lot of breakers was wearing this type of sneaker as well. Zooming in, uh, quality is not really so good. You know, the leather quality is not really all that great. You know, this is definitely a sneaker that you're gonna wear and just beat to hell. So you look forward to that process. Super big Nike on the back, uh, whereas, you know, the Georgetown guy, where the Hoyas version had Hoyas on the hill. You, know, you got your Midnight Navy, then you have this gray. Uh, there's your toe box, your preparations there. Some pretty good quality laces. Uh, they are kind of long, so I got to figure that, that out. You have the medial side here, and it's kind of odd how they stitched this together right there. You know, you don't, you don't see this in modern sneakers, so, you know, maybe they're just sticking to the old school look. Uh, also, the other weird part is these stars here um, on the actual midsole. Uh, you know, we're, we're used to seeing the stars on the outsole uh, and not both. Whereas here on this sneaker, you got them on both. Uh, different patterns here uh, for the traction, uh, but you do see herringbone predominantly. Oh, the other thing I want to add is that this sneaker has no air. So there is no air unit in this, which is why it just says Nike on the tongue. 
Uh, you got your tissue paper, no shoe tree. Take a look at the inside of the sneaker real quick. A lot of laces, man. Uh, there's your inner label. There's your sizing tag uh, for legit checks, but I, I doubt Guanzo will do anything to rep this sneaker uh, because there is no, these are sitting on shelves, not really a high demand, uh, even with the whole gunk craze. And it is pretty comfortable. I'd say they a little bit bigger than true to size. Even with a, a thick sock, uh, I still have a little bit of space there. Uh, then you have your Nike on the insole. Then there's some, some type of cotton down there in the floorboard. This liner is pretty comfortable. Uh, as you can see, this is like a high top actually. Uh, so it's not a mid. Uh, that's why it looks a little weird. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna go play any ball in these. They don't even have air in it. And you know, it's kind of like going to go ball in like some, some Chuck Taylor Converse. I wouldn't do that. Uh, like, I, like I said, this is kind of like a, a step above that because you can still wear these in like, you know, wet weather conditions. Again, I don't have any dunks or any Air Force Ones to kind of compare these two, but I do have the Obsidian J1, UNC colorways. So let's, let's see Georgetown and UNC battle it out right now. So yeah, I, I couldn't figure out if it was Peter Moore or if it was Bruce Kilgore who designed this. I just know that it's heavily influenced from the Air Force One uh, and the Nike Air Jordan One. So let me know. Patrick Ewing went on to have his own sneaker that's still around today, actually. It didn't do as well as everything else, you know, as Jordans or anything like that. But, you know, he did have his little claim to fame, you know, which I respect. Here we go with the outsole for both sneakers. So what do you think? Is this a pickup? Is, this, is it a, a skip? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time. Hey.